You know, there's nothing wrong with following through the steps, the seven steps, before hitting OK and making a plot and doing it kind of mechanically the first several times you do it. Uh, but at some point, if you're serious about CAD, you're going to want to understand what do these things mean, why am I clicking on them, and what are my options. So let's just talk briefly about that. What is the name of the device I'm going to print on, right? That's what's being asked here for the name of the plotter or printer. Uh, in class at Bakersfield College, we'd be picking the MS-9 or the MS-10 printer so that you're printing to the machine in the right room. Of course, at home, you don't have connection to the BC printer. You will be either printing to your own personal printer that's connected to your computer, or you'll be printing a PDF file from the DWG file. What size of paper are we working with? Well, the plotter limits you to the different sizes of paper. If we said none and clicked on this, you would see every size of paper possible in both standard imperial and metric sizes. So there's a lot. Uh, paper has a funny system for naming. Uh, eight and a half by 11 paper is called A, 11 by 17 is called B, 17 by 22 is called C, and it works up to D and then E, and uh, that's the largest sheet we'd be printing in a technical drawing environment. Okay, but these are the sizes of the paper. Uh, the A size is also called letter. Eight and a half by 11 is also called letter size. Okay, so you gotta just know your printer and know what it calls these things because sometimes it might call your paper B size, it sometimes might call it 11 by 17, and sometimes it might call it tabloid, and they all mean the same thing. What is the area that I'm going to plot? Well, uh, AutoCAD is usually set to display, which is dumb. Uh, extents is a much better option. Extents just means everything I drew, because normally we want to plot everything we drew. Another possibility though is the limits. If you know what the limits are, you can set to AutoCAD to just plot the limits and nothing beyond them. Another option would be to make a window and say, I only want things inside this window to be plotted. And whatever you specified in your window, well, that's what gets plotted. Do you want your plot to be centered? Well, of course you do. Nobody wants a drawing that's all jammed up in the corner. So we click on center the plot and that makes sure that the printing happens with an equal border of white space all around it. We just put a check in the box. What scale are we plotting at? Now this is an important thing because in AutoCAD we always draw things full size. And that just means if a line is one inch long, we draw it one inch long. If we're drawing something and it needs to be 10 inches wide, we draw 10 inches wide. If we are drawing an office and the office is 30 feet wide, we draw it 30 feet wide. If we're drawing a classroom and the classroom is 50 feet across, well then we make it 50 feet across in AutoCAD. We don't take big things and draw them smaller than they really are. We draw them at full size. It's at printing time that we have to decide how big we want the objects to appear on that piece of paper. So that's what plot scale is. We want to figure out if it's very big, how far do we shrink it down to fit on the paper. Okay, so fit to paper is the worst option and we rarely use it because it's just not specific. Uh, the scales, there are a number of ratio scales here. One inch on the paper is one inch on the drawing. One inch on the paper is two inches in the drawing. One inch on the paper is 10 inches on the drawing. One inch on the paper is 100 inches on the drawing. And then we have some two to one, up to one to 100 to one. And then below that we have architectural scales to work off of. So these are our plot scales. And normally you're gonna specify one of them. One to one works for small things. One to one does not work for big things. Finally, plot style table. Well, if it is set to none and you go to print on your printer at home and you have a color printer, then 
you're going to get color on your drawing. If you did a drawing, and the drawing is white lines on black, those become black lines on white paper. But if you're working on a drawing that's got color, and we go to plot, well then we're going to get colored lines on our piece of paper. So normally CAD drawings are not plotted in color. Color is used for the technician so that they're able to identify things and work with things easily in the CAD system. So color normally doesn't get plotted out as color. So what are your options besides monochrome, which means everything turns black or white, and none, which leaves all the colors as color. Well, another option would be grayscale. Grayscale will take the darkest colors and make them dark gray, and the lighter colors will be light gray. If we did a preview, we see how we have black where there were white lines on the screen, but now the cyan, the magenta, the green, the yellow, these have been translated into grayer, gray tones. Okay, for our class, we're always gonna plot at monochrome though. If we are plotting to a printer connected to the network, or if we're printing to a PDF. Incidentally, if you leave it on none, and you're expecting to get color, what will happen if you have a black and white printer? Well, if you leave it on none and you preview it, it looks like it has color, but if your printer is black and white, it's not gonna give you colors. It'll give you dark black lines, where you had white lines in AutoCAD, and then the green will be a very light gray. The magenta will be a darker gray the cyan will be a light, light gray. And if you have yellow, that'll be a super, super light gray color. Uh, the other option, of course, that you have is drawing orientation. Right now, this is landscape. So long ways left to right. If you wanted to change the orientation to portrait, you could do that. Now the paper is long ways top to bottom, and your drawing is fit. Long ways left to right on the short side. Okay, so these are all the different settings in the plot dialog and what they refer to.